So this is going to be a review and an explanation of what you need to look for if you want to power a device, an, an electronic or electrical device from Japan or America in the UK. Now, if you want to if you want to power something like a hairdryer or a motor, these kinds of things are classed as electrical devices, and you would need a step down converter or a step down transformer for that. If you want to power an electronic device like a games console, laptop, TV or whatever, you will need a step down transformer. You won't be able to power them with a step down converter. A step down transformer, it will power both different types of electronics. It will power things like heaters, motors and things like TVs, games consoles, computers, whatever. So this is actually a step down transformer even though it doesn't say transformer on it and it says converter instead. I'm thinking maybe this, the CT stands for converter transformer because it is a transformer and I guess it also works like a converter as well since you can use electrical devices on it as well as electronic. So the AC input on this is 220 volts the output from the wall socket in the UK is 230 volts, so that's a 10 volts difference, but 10 volts difference isn't supposed to matter at all. I've used this a lot over here in the UK, and it's worked absolutely fine even though there's a 10 volts difference. And the same goes for the output of the transformer as well. For example, if I was to plug in this 100 volt PS2 into this 110 volt socket, supposedly that's absolutely fine, you know, the 10 volts difference doesn't matter at all. So I'm wondering why this outputs 110 volts and also outputs 100 volts. Maybe if you was to plug in a 100 volt device into a 110 volt socket, maybe it could shorten the life expectancy of your device a little bit. That's that's the only thing I can think of. That's the only reason I can think of for why you'd have the, the two different voltages on this step down converter even though the 10 volts difference isn't supposed to matter. So this is 500 watts and a lot of people say that the step down transformer should be double some people even say it should be triple the wattage of the device that you plug in into it. If, if you was to plug in say a 500 watt device into this 500 watt step down transformer even though they're both the same wattages the step down transformer would work for a short while it would be okay but if you was to use it for longer periods, like say hours, um, the step down transformer, it wouldn't really be able to power the device comfortably. I think it might put, I don't know, maybe a lot of strain on it or something. I don't know. But supposedly it doesn't matter how high the wattage is of the step down transformer, it won't cause any harm to your device that you've plugged into it. For example, this PS2 is only 50 watts. That's way less than this. You know, this has way more wattage than what I need for the PS2. Yet, I've used the PS2 with this step down transformer and the PS2 has been absolutely fine. So this is uh, 50 slash 60 hertz. Now I don't know anything about that. I'm not really sure whether it would be okay to plug a device which is say 50 hertz into a step down transformer which is like 60 hertz. I don't know whether that would be fine or not. Uh, this PS2 actually, it says the same thing on the back as what I said there. It says 50 slash 60 hertz. So on the back of this, you have a fuse there. This is so if anything did go wrong, the fuse will blow and it will protect the, uh, the step down transformer. And you can just unscrew it like that. So this is, this is if you want to replace the fuse. And there you can see the fuse. I'm guessing it probably you can probably just easily pull it out and then Put a new fuse back in. Well, I'm kind of pulling at this, it's not really coming out, so I'm just not really sure why, but I don't want to break anything, so I'll just leave it. So, obviously, on the end of the power lead, we have a UK plug, so I'm going to plug that into the mains. And then here's the power lead for the Japanese PS2. The Japanese PS2 is 100 volts, so I'm going to plug it into one of these 100 volts sockets. And now all I do is just simply turn it on. I'm going to move the camera closer so you can hear this. So 
So you may have heard that, it kind of made like a boing noise, which is normal. A lot of step down transformers do that. I think the higher the wattage, the louder the boing noise is. So now I'll switch the PS2 on. And it's as simple as that, you can see that the PS2 is now working. So I've never tried any other step down transformers so I don't have anything to compare this to. But to me it seems like a really good one, I mean it does what it's meant to do. I quite like the look of it as well and it makes no noise at all. I've heard some people say that some step down transformers make a fairly loud buzzing sound or a humming sound. This is really really quiet. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching.